Hello world, it is Monday, March 7th, 2021, 2022. I must put myself in last year. And looking out the window at Defiance this morning, it's kind of overcast and a little bit of rainy, kind of sprinkly. And I think we're going to have some uh, unsettled weather today, including some possible snow showers, although I'm not sure we're going to accumulate much. The devotion for today is entitled uh, Powerful Questions by Marilyn Pajan Banks. Marilyn bases the devotion upon Psalm 77, verse 7 through 9, New International Version. Will the Lord reject forever? Will God never show favor again? Has God's unfailing love vanished forever? Has God's promise failed for all time? Has God forgotten to be merciful? Has God in anger withheld compassion? And Marilyn writes, I'm currently training as a certified professional coach. And one of the main competencies taught is the asking of powerful questions. As a coach, we are not to provide answers that our client is seeking to find, but to ask the types of questions that will allow them to uncover and discover the answers they are seeking for themselves and to gain clarity on next steps. Coaches accompany clients as they do their own work. While it doesn't appear that the psalmist had a coach, it is clear they remembered how God has always accompanied them. In their despair and pain, they remembered all that God had done for them over the years. The cries became questions, and questions led to deeper clarity and a renewed conviction that if God did it before, God can do it again. Perhaps that is why the seasons of the church are so important. We don't all have coaches, but we do have the story of a love so profound that God wrapped it in flesh and dwelled among us. A love so magic that death could not destroy it. A love that is present and possible for all creation to experience. The season of Let is an opportunity for us to turn back to God again, to recall the story of God's liberative love as modeled in the life and ministry of Jesus, to have the courage and humility to ask powerful questions of ourselves as follower of Jesus, followers of Jesus and as the church with the intention of living truly transformed lives and to be the church. And the prayer. Gracious God, when we don't have all the answers, please help us to ask the right questions. Amen. Well, for me, this devotion <clears throat> brought up a couple thoughts, uh, one of which is um, I think our faith life should be full of questions. We should be constantly questioning our faith, questioning the biblical stories, asking questions, getting clarity, understanding, and as new information or new revelations appear, uh, asking more questions and continually growing and learning. Um, and I think that question asking also applies to self-reflection and how we're living our life. Asking ourselves questions about how we are, how we are not, living out God's will in our lives and, and living out the, the will of God for the good of the whole and the community and what we can do differently. It's not to say that um, we should look for reasons to feel guilty or to feel bad about ourselves, but continually look for ways that we can improve <clears throat> and do what we can to um, continue the work begun in the presence of God and Jesus Christ living among us. Um, spreading God's love throughout the world. So I hope that gives you some things to think about, and I hope you have a good day, and I hope you stay dry. If you go out, you may want to bring an umbrella today. Take care, and I will talk to you again tomorrow.